Good morning. Happy Saturday. It is Vape AM on Saturday morning. Vaping down to dusk is what I used to call the show, but I don't do that right now anymore. And it is Van Gogh Vapes International Delights Day. They are appearing at the Birmingham Expo next week, and they sent me the whole new line of their new labels on the International Delights line. They cut a few of them out that weren't selling very well, and they have a new formulation for one of them, I think. It's the tiramisu here, or it might be the cannoli. And boom, check it out. Vape AM International Delights by Van Gogh Vapes. Coming to the UK. I'm Eli Juicy Jones. This is Orbital Vaping Headquarters, Juicy Jones HQ, and you are watching Vape AM. We have live chat going on. I want to thank everybody who is tuned in, and I'm going to open up my chat window so that I can say hello to everybody who tuned in. Okay, let me just get that separate. Okay, cool. So that's there. And thank you guys, James and Brady and everybody. So y'all, I hope are having a great Saturday morning. I hope that you are comfortable and that you have a cup of coffee. Sweet coffee eases the pain. And a vape. Right now I've got the first of these four flavors in here and it's so delicious. I got four RDAs on four different uh, mods, all 2700 today. I got my iJoy Captain PD270 with the dual 2700. I've got my Anakin Oceanus Iwar, the single. 2700. I've got my Ultra Coils Ultra RDA, which I love. This little thing is 24 karat gold plated and has a really cool little RDA that has a, it's so low profile. And this is all made of Ultim, so you can put big hot builds on here and it doesn't get hot. It's really great. Also 2700, by the way. Yum. Ooh, it looks like a laser beam. And last but not least, I have my original Cheetah on the uh, iJoy Capo, which is cool. The Capo Squonk is coming out also. Oh, I forgot this is yellow, so you can barely see it. It's because of the green screen, don't worry about it. Oh, we're fogged out. So I wanna thank uh, Van Gogh Vapes for sending all these things. And I wanna tell all y'all that, you know, we love Van Gogh Vapes and they are gonna be at the Birmingham Expo. They're coming to the UK, so you UK viewers can finally get this stuff without, you know, crazy shipping. These guys are Canadians. So remember that when you go to their website and you use the code Juicy Jones HQ, you get a 15% discount. And don't forget, the prices are in Canadian. So for example, these juices, they cost about $21 for a 60, for a 60 mil bottle. And it is, uh, the whole set is about, it's about $83 for all four bottles, a big set of the whole thing. So remember that that's not the prices listed on their website. You have to translate them to American if you live in the U.S. or to your local currency. So... Let's check them out again. Let's go back to the desk because I love looking at the desk. These are so great. These are like uh, new labels that they put on here. I'm just going to keep them still. They, uh, the old labels, I wonder if I have one of the examples of the old labels around here anywhere. Oh, it looks like that camera is like just stuttering. Huh, that's weird. Um, but I've got the old labels here. And of course, it doesn't even appear in the green screen. And they were pretty nice. They were silvery and pretty, but they, you couldn't really see what each one was by looking at it. And definitely for the new ones, it's much better. Although, look at that. That doesn't look very good, does it? Let me go back to the thumbnail. Uh, you can see that they got the name all big on there. And so you can tell at a glance which, what each one is. And look in the background. They actually have pictures of what they all are. So the four in a row that we're going to talk about are the delicious Belgian waffle, which is this guy right here with syrup. Don't forget. And I have actual descriptions for you. So let me read those off while we're at it here, if you're interested. The Belgian waffle, breakfast in bed without the crumbs, gratifying notes of crispy golden Belgian waffles, lightly sugar tones, layered with rich amber maple syrup e-juice for a pleasant finish. That's great. That's the first one we're going to do. We're doing Belgian waffles, Italian tiramisu, New York cheesecake, and Eaton Mess. And some of you all know, careful viewers will note that Eaton Mess is probably my favorite vape. Probably. Probably. But first, let's do the Belgian waffles. What excites me about the Belgian waffles is that when they originally sent me this set last year, it had nine flavors in it. And um, I really, really love some of the flavors that they, um, that just didn't sell very well. Like the, as you guys know, I love uh, Faluda and Faluda is a rose cardamom milkshake. And it's so delicious. I absolutely love that. And um, I also love uh, the cannoli, which I think is either, I don't know if they got rid of the cannoli or they put it into a different line. I'm going to ask those guys that. I kind of forgot that. But the cannoli is fantastic too. But these are the four staples everybody likes the best. The Belgian waffles, 
the tiramisu, the New York cheesecake, and the Eaton Mess. And I swear, these are the last, these are like the last dessert vapes I, I even need. I love all of these. So first, the Belgian waffles. When they sent them to me originally, the Belgian waffles, just the bottle I got was bad. So I never really got to try this. And now it's here and it's back and I got to try it. It's absolutely fantastic. I love this stuff. What I'm vaping on is my Cheetah 2. Arr, and it's all super dripped in there. You can see my background through there. It's got all Wato this one and the Cheetah 1. And uh, they both have Watofo triple core aliens in them, nichrome. So you guys know, this is a six wrap, five wrap. Oh my God. This is a four wrap, sorry, four wrap. And this one's coming in about 0.10. So this is a real low, huge, three and a half millimeter, big hot build. I'm at about 120 watts here. Gotta go up a little bit. Almost forgot to redrip. This build has so much metal in it. You can hear there's a little ramp up, even with 120 watts. So this is one of my larger ones. And I love the Cheetah 2 for this too, because the Cheetah 2 is a real, is a real monster for just big builds. By the way, if you're watching live, shout out. Tell me where you're at. Tell me what you're doing. If you're watching on the replay, also do the same thing. Just chat with us just like you're watching live. Don't worry about it. I reply to all the chats. Make sure that you like and subscribe to these videos if you like them. And you can join us here every week at of EHQ. I've been taking a little bit of a break during the summer just because we've been busy. In the summer, I get hot and sleepy. So, but for now, soon we have the iJoy Capo coming up. Hey, there's Michaela Vapes. Love you. Chris Denton, Brady. Just saying hi to some people. I don't want to ignore y'all. Yum. It's sweet. It's a sweet taste. It's mapley, cinnamon. It's got a pastry. It's a real... All of Van Gogh Vapes vapes are very subtle and good. None of them are heavy or overbearing. And so this has a very lightweight pastry taste to it. It's got a really good sweet mapley taste to it. It's got kind of a spicy cinnamon, not the bad kind. This is, mmm. It's got a very sweet finish on the side of your mouth. It's more the maple. Mmm. This is so delicious. I've been vaping this one for a little bit, a little while now. I've had these bottles for just about a month. And, um, oh my God, this one is rapidly becoming one of my favorites because like I said, I didn't get to try it last year. It just so happens I just got one bad bottle. I didn't, I don't worry about that. I mean, sometimes you get a bad bottle and they definitely offered to exchange it, but it just was not a huge deal. It was a gift from my so, so not a big deal. Bingo has great customer service though. So if you have any problems or questions or any comments at all, always email those guys or message them on Facebook forward slash Van Gogh Vapes. They're really nice and they always get back to you. They're just a family owned company. It's a funny story. God, that's so delicious. So Belgian waffles, sorry, I'm digressing. Belgian waffles, delicious. I could just vape this all day. In fact, when we finish, I'm probably gonna keep vaping this on this Cheetah 2 on this big thing or maybe the Cheetah 1. God, that's good. Okay, so the net result is, yeah, Belgian waffles, delicious. And I want to remind all y'all that if you're interested in Van Gogh Vapes, go to vangovapes.com and don't forget to use the code JUICYJONESHQ because you get a 15% discount on the, on the price. So whatever, what do these cost? About $21 for a 60 mil bottle? Then you get 20, you get 15% off, whatever exactly that is. I'm not a math whiz, someone in chat tell me. So next that I want to tell you guys about is the tiramisu. And you guys have seen me on my Instagram forward slash Gucci Tones HQ a million times. You guys have seen me, boom, Instagram, vaping all these flavors, except for the Belgian waffles for, you know, almost a year, no, over a year. Gosh, we did our first review for Van Gogh vapes last summer, you know, a year ago last summer. And so the tiramisu has been one of my staples. This is so delicious and it tastes a little bit different to me. I feel like they reformulated this one. I had to ask them, um, they may not have, but it's so good still. What they did was it tastes a little bit more espresso -y than it used to. And so let me get this into the Cheetah One. What I'm vaping on here is I have my um, iJoy Capo, which you can't see is bright yellow. It's so weird because of my green screen. And um, it is like, a little 100 watt 21700 mod. Wah, 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 wah. I should have gotten a black one, right? This is bright yellow. 
There we have that. I have one of my Sanyo 2700As in there. The Sanyos are uh, made by Panasonic. Sanyo is owned by Panasonic, by the way. And I'm vaping on my Cheetah 1. My original Cheetah. Still one of my favorite flavor atomizers, and I test juice in this all the time. This also has large same Watofo coils. Except this time it's a five wrap. So this one comes in about 0.14, whereas the other one was 0.10. So we're about 85, 90 watts on this. I'm gonna go to 89. Mm. Oh my God, I need to come down to the watts a little bit. I'm gonna go down to about eh, 75. No, I'm gonna go to 80. Mmm, that is so delicious. So this tiramisu tastes like a tiramisu dessert. If you don't know what tiramisu is, tiramisu is an Italian dessert. And all the international delights are from around the world. And so, obviously, the Belgian waffles is from Belgium. And there's a famous dessert that they serve there. And the tiramisu is an Italian dessert. It's a layer cake dessert that has espresso and mascarpone cheese and, um, and chocolate. And tiramisu, I think it's some kind of pun about how it's got two kinds of caffeine in it, chocolate and uh, espresso. So it has espresso, um, layers of mascarpone, uh, custard, uh, chocolate. And oh, this just the aroma off this juice is just so amazing. It's delicious. And I tell you, all of these, in case you're wondering, taste exactly like the label says. They they all taste exactly like it says. Van Gogh vapes aren't what aren't known for missing the descriptions. They're a company that if you read what it says, it's going to taste like that. You may not like it. Like some of them I don't prefer. I'm not a big fan of fruit vapes and some of the menthols are like, woohoo, but they're good. They're all good. Okay. So here we go. Tiramisu. That is so fucking good. It is so delicious. You see me fog out here in the room, my little tiny room. Oh my God, that is so good. I'm actually gonna go back up to 85 watts. I was at 90, now I wanna go to 85. I opened up the air a little bit. It's so delicious. You taste the sweetness. It has a, it has a custardy base. It has espresso taste all the way through and a little more chocolate. And I, and I don't know whether they upped the chocolate or the espresso a little bit, but it tastes a little bit more like those than it did last year. I always loved this vape. And I, I think I slightly preferred the cannoli, but this is this is delicious stuff. I love this stuff so much. If you like tiramisu, you'll definitely like this. I freaking vape this stuff for dessert all the time. Yum. Hey, I want to say hi to Genjington, who just joined us in Discord too. Hello, Genjington. Nice to meet you. Glad you joined us in Discord. We have a Discord chat, and uh, I will put a link in the description for our Discord so that you guys can... All I have to do is copy it so you guys can join us. And we have live chat there and hang out. And most of my, if you want to talk to me directly, come to Discord. I'm on Instagram too, obviously. We have a huge Instagram. But uh, Discord is where I normally go. Hey, there's Owen Ginter. Hey, Michaela. Chris Denton. I'm just going to paste that. There's the Discord. Somebody turn that into an HTTPS link for me, please. Mm, tiramisu. Tiramisu. It's so good. I'm pretty sure this is 75, 25 or 80, 20. I'm not sure. I haven't asked those guys about the ratios. They could be 70, 30. It doesn't matter too much. All these vapes have good cloud productions and the flavor is so good. I am, I just have never even cared. I've just vaped them. They're so delicious. Mm. That is yummy. Okay. That's great. By the way, if you're in the audience, let me know if you've tried Van Gogh vapes before. Let me know if the shipping is good. I got a report from one of my viewers who said that he had really high shipping costs to his particular state. And so he's going to send me a screenshot of uh, his order. And I'm going to email the guys at Van Gogh vapes and ask him about that because that stuff happens. Every state in the union has like different laws about shipping vapes in there. You know how it goes, y'all. I just can't stop vaping this. <laughs> Tiramisu, yum. I wish I had a monocle. I would put it on. Like the monocle guy on here. That's the new label guy. <laughs> you just see behind me. That's fun. Okay. I'm going to put a new battery in this thing too. But I have next. My gold, 24 karat gold ultra mech. 
with the Ultra RDA on it, which I absolutely love this thing. Oh, my desk light's going down. Looks like, I'm, like my battery's dying on the thing. No wonder. And uh, I love this little guy. I'm going to put a brand new battery in. One of my viewers was awesome and gave me a tip for this thing. My battery was rattling and he said, put the battery in upside down so the magnet touches the negative side and put the positive side down. And that works amazingly great. New York cheesecake. This is New York cheesecake. One of the things I like best about Van Gogh is that all of their flavors taste unique. Like they taste exactly like they say on the, on the bottle. And they also taste better than their other companions. I'm not kidding. I know it sounds like a commercial for Van Gogh, but I freaking love this stuff. I think it's absolutely delicious. And you can tell they're Canadian because they mix and match their ingredients. I know they use some of the same ingredients we all do. I'm just going to drip some of this New York cheesecake on here. But we've all had cheesecake vapes, and you know what a cheesecake is. Cheesecake is a big cheesecake. And it's one of the most common vapes because it's one of the ones that comes out better than, you know, just comes out good with the ingredients we use. And theirs is just delicious. I can smell it on my hands. Sometimes cheesecakes just taste too, too malty or too mouthy or too throaty or too fake. And this one doesn't. It tastes amazing. God, I've grown really tired of cheesecake vapes from other people. When I get them, I'm bored and I usually don't like them. And this stuff is absolutely delicious. Don't forget to be drinking coffee and tea and having a nice Saturday morning. I'm Eli Juicy Jones. This is Juicy Jones HQ. And we're doing a review of the International Delights uh, line by Van Gogh Vapes, our friends. And you out there live, I thank every one of you. Laura Ostinato, thank you for coming in and seeing us. I was just saying uh, a little bit earlier, that it's just been summer and I've been taking my time to do other stuff and it's hot and I t tend to hibernate and we're really busy. And so I've just been taking a little less time. Now it's winter and I'm gonna be back in the studio more. I love Seattle. Seattle has real seasons. I guess it's actually fall. Oh, shout out to James Rivera. I hope you're doing okay. I know that's 45 seconds old when I see the chat. But he has a family problem and he has to go, so I'm disappointed. There we go. Gosh, I could just vape this forever. It's really good. Cheesecake. Man, that is delicious. Also, I love this thing. If you want one of these things, by the way, they're at ultracoils.com, and you can have a code there. The code is juicy. Is ultra juicy. Use the code ultra juicy. Uh to get one of these little 24 karat gold guys. I love it. And honestly, I love the carrot RDA. I, I use this RDA on everything. I use it on this Mac. It's a little tiny, little tiny 24 millimeter RDA that is not green screening very well. That is, uh, and I would show you on the desk, but my light is totally dead. I'm sorry. Uh, I have a review that I'll link on here that you guys have seen. It was a couple of weeks ago. Not a review, but I unboxed it and built on it. And since then, I've been using it a lot and I absolutely love it. So this thing is really killer. All right, let's move on to Eton Mess. So the, the Eton Mess is one of my favorite vapes. Ever since I very first tried this, it's the last strawberry I ever need. This is the strawberry. What Eton Mess is, is an English UK dessert that is strawberry and meringue and... Uh, um. I think it's sweet, fluffy meringue and creme fraiche. That's what it is, creme fraiche. So it's like creme fraiche and strawberry cream together. And so it's a little bit like a strawberry cheesecake from America, except that there's no cheesecake and they use meringue instead of whipped cream. And so it has a unique flavor and it's a thing that the UK does and it's absolutely delicious. I didn't know about this until my friend M's, Double D's UK, told me about it when I got this bottle last year, it was like December. And uh, she was like, oh, my God, that's, a, that's totally a real thing in England where she lives. And I'm vaping on my Azathoth RDA, which is a cool one that I also have a video for. A two-post bottom fed, and it has a velocity-style top cap, so it has side and bottom airflow. And it controls leaking pretty well. I'm just going to close the top off and vape on it. What should I do? Should I do about half air on this thing? This build is a Geek Vape Coil Triple Core Clapton. 
made of nichrome, and it comes at about 0.25 in this little five wrap that I have on here. And I'm vaping, my battery's dead, so I'm taking this out, and I'm putting a new battery in. And I'm vaping at about, this says about 70 watts or so. Let's see how that is. Oh my God, that's so delicious. Eaton Mess is so good. It's got a light strawberry flavor. The meringue is a unique kind of cream, at least to my palate, because you know we get a lot of creams, but meringue is not one that we see a lot. We see a lot of cheesecakes, we see a lot of custards. Um, it has a custardy kind of base flavor. I love this thing. It's strawberry cream with a meringue twist. It's so good. Oh my God, still probably my favorite Van Gogh vape. And all of these have a very light touch. Oh, I love these. Chris Denton just chimed in and said, eating mess is better than trifle, just saying. That's funny. That was funny. Oh, I also want to say hello to Kami, who's another one of our new Discord uh, friends on there. And uh, he just got some bait mail that he waited forever for, and that's cool. You guys want to join us on Discord, that's totally awesome. I will go ahead and get that link into the description while we're chatting here. And I want to know what you think. If you like these videos, click like and subscribe. Van Gogh Vapes is available. Uh, at vangovapes.com. Don't forget to use the code Juicy Jones to HQ. And remember, the prices are Canadian, so you have to translate them to your local currency. In America, it's about 78 cents to the dollar. So the price, the, now is the time to buy Van Gogh. The prices are low for Americans. And uh, they ship everywhere in the world that will take vapes. Uh, and they're going to be at the Birmingham Expo at uh, booth D3, October 27th to 29th. I love them. Thanks to Van Gogh Vapes for sending this stuff to me. You know, Van Gogh Vapes takes care of this channel, they're really nice to us. Uh, I love all you guys. They're great. We're not turning off the channel, though. The review part is over. We're going to hang out here, have some Saturday morning coffee, and I'm going to vape on some of this stuff, and we're just going to chat for a little while. I have some time because everybody's asleep. And even... um, But I want to get a link to the Discord here in the chat. Join us on Discord. https colon slash slash discord d i s c o r d dot g g forward slash nine capital m capital a nine capital d capital m lowercase c for y'all that have trouble seeing like our friend sammy joe there you go i was just able to let you know and i'm just pasting into this into the chat How's your touch typing, Juicy? It's not that great, is it? Here we go. It's in now. All right. So yeah, tell me how you're doing. Talk to me on chat. Hope all y'all are having a great day. I am enjoying the new weather here in Seattle. A lot. A lot, a lot. And it started to rain, which is my favorite thing. I'm going to tell Van Gogh that we did this review. And what else is going on here? We, uh, we have a bunch of stuff coming out for 21700 and 2700 We have the, uh, I don't, unfortunately, I don't have any of that stuff coming just because I don't have any cash yet, but I will buy some of the stuff. There's the um, Wismac and uh, Segeli also. You know, you guys remember batteries are the big deal. 2700 and 21700 batteries are the big deal. It's not so, it's no, there's no need to go out and get fancy mods. What's, what I'm talking about is don't buy anything with an 18650 anything anymore. Don't do it. The writing is on the wall. It is, it, I can't exaggerate the scale of this. Elon Musk spent $5 billion on a factory in Nevada to make battery cells. These battery cells, these exact battery cells are made by Panasonic right now in the East. And they're making them in Nevada soon. And let me tell you the scale of this. In 2020, just that factory is going to outproduce all cells all over the world from everyone else. Panasonic, LG, Sony, all of them. I have a graph and everything I can show you. Um, and it's crazy. So let me tell you, 2700, 21700, that's the future. Do not buy any more 18650 anything. Not a dime, guys. You don't need that mod. All they're doing is cranking out more shit with color screens and fancy temperature control and stuff. It's so easy to get up into a fervor on that stuff, and it's not worth the money. 
if because you're just going to want to replace it later anyway and if you don't then the stuff you have is going to work fine what you need is a reliable mod that does what you need now and that uses the new battery cells these new battery cells have way every there's three major advantages of them one and they're all based on safety they charge at two amps first of all and two amp charging is a pretty big deal that's at least four times faster than um your current half amp chargers and even the one amp quick charges are not that good. So, um, you know, it's, it's pretty amazing to charge a, one of these batteries, 4,000 ma in 40 minutes. I mean, it's great. Um, also they are, um, they were, they provide nominal amperage. They're th like, for example, most of these batteries in my desk, the 2700s are actual 30 amp continuous discharge batteries that can safely run the bills. We've been lying to ourselves about these 18650s for years. They've been overtaxed and they're getting hot. These get hot too, but they're just safer batteries. Um, and three, what is it? One, two, three, they have, they have better charging, nominal amperage, better heat dissipation, I know. The, the, a lot of the, th one of the things people don't realize about 26650s is that 26650s have never fulfilled the promise of this form factor. They have terrible heat dissipation problems out of the middle and they never get high. Oh, the third advantage is high capacities. They can never get the capacities out of these that they were promised, but they're getting four to 6,000 mah capacities out of these 2700s and 2700s. It's amazing. So they weigh just about 50% more than 18650 batteries, but they're only a little tiny bit bigger and they are miles ahead in safety and reliability. And Elon Musk has spent $5 billion on a factory. It's 43% owned by Panasonic. Elon Musk built the building, rented the land, provides all the infrastructure and everything. Panasonic does the chemistry, builds the batteries inside. Elon Musk and Tesla buy the batteries, put them into packs and sell them in the third market. We vapors are gonna benefit from this because these batteries are gonna be available. Right now, they're really hard to get but that is not gonna last. So mark my words, 2700, 21700, watch the Nova documentary that's called Search for the Super Battery. There's a link in the description down below. And um, I've been ranting about this for a year now and I wanna keep, uh, one year, you know that I have not spent a dime, a dime on 18650 anything in a year because there is no need. And uh, in January, I started calling for mods and we didn't really get any, we got a boxer, but it was, you know, stupid expensive. Um, and then iJoy has been, was the first company to fully back the 2700 and 21700 revolution. And so Inican also is on there and now Wismec and now Segeli and some other ones are jumping on after Boxer did first. And, um, I just want to stress that one of the reasons why you see so much iJoy on this channel is that iJoy believes in 2700 and 21700 and they're fully backing it. And so, yeah, there are going to be problems and there's going to be battery mislabels. And iJoy has some, a little bit of shit on their face lately for doing the old switcheroo and some batteries. And we've asked them not to do that. But the truth is, um, these batteries are where it's at in the future. And these mods I've got that use these batteries are absolutely amazing. All of them are great. They have, they may have little problems here and there, but the batteries are fulfilling the promise. They're not, they're not, you know, it isn't, it isn't like uh, I think people might have thought that people, I think, thought like, oh, well, one twenty six fifty will be better than two 18650s, and that's not the case. What it is is that the 2700, I meant 2700, obviously, the 2700 battery is the fulfillment of the promise of what the 18650 was going to do. That's what it takes is a 2700 in this chemistry and this style, this size developed by Panasonic and Tesla. So it's, it's not quite as simple as as uh, you might think. You're still gonna be using one and two battery mods and stuff, but I'm telling you, for example, I've been using the one battery mods more than I ever use my 18650 one battery mods. I haven't used an 18650 single battery mod in, I mean, definitely over a year because they're just underpowered for what I do. But these have real amperage and yeah, you swap batteries a lot. I've got 10 18650 batteries and a 2700 and a 20, I've got 10, 2700 batteries and a 21700 with another 21700 on the way and I you know I just feel like these are the only batteries I use they charge so fast and I never run out of them so I have to switch mods so it's really great uh 
Brady is asking about the iJoy controversy from lately. The iJoy controversy was that they, they, they say that they switched the PTC ring. Forget about legs. Well, I guess you can keep calling them legs, but they say that they switched the PTC rings. These things on top are called PTC rings. And I encourage you guys to watch my review of the Home Tech 18650 home life and home work batteries because that was an amazing learning experience for me and a million big vape channels like Daniel DGLSB Labs uh, like attacked me because I endorsed those batteries. He totally embarrassed himself by just ranting like a fool. And uh, of course he was dead wrong. These are great, those were great batteries. And it was a, it was a cool thing. I'm trying to find one of the iJoy 2700s, but they're both, I think, on the charger. Oh, here they are. I've got them right here. They were saying that there were five legs. Let me see if the desk cam will work. Oh, it's pretty dim down there. But if you'll notice, you see how there's five ring, there's five little legs on this PTC ring. So Mooch noticed, and some people noticed that they, some of them had four legs, and then they had, um, they did some testing and it turns out that they were basically swapping out the worst kind. There was two, there's two versions of this battery, a good 30 amp one and a bad one. They're both labeled 40 amps. And so iJoy did a kind of a switcheroo, but it was five, they should have five legs on your PTC ring. Look at your PTC rings. All of my iJoy batteries have five legs on the PTC ring. Um, not the 21700. The 21700 is different. It's got four or something or three. I can't remember. So thanks for asking that letting us clarify that all together with our facts. Kristen's looking forward to the iJoy Capo regulated squonker with the 20 and 21700 single butter. Yeah, me too, man, a lot. I'm hoping they sent me that. In fact, I got a notice today uh, from DHL that I have two packages in the mail and I believe one of them is from iJoy. So wouldn't that be killer? Did I take the battery out of this? I unscrewed it. Oh, I took the battery out. Whoops. This thing is really cool. Drop a little battery in there. You guys have seen this thing. It's that same little design that... Who did that? Was it Inakin? Or was it E-Leaf? E-Leaf. E-Leaf had the little thing that was tiny like this. Love this thing. And I want to welcome Sandman359 too, who just joined us in Discord as well. That's great. That's awesome. Oh, that is so yummy. Oh, yes. So which one was that? I did these in order. Oh, that's so good. That's the New York cheesecake. That's so good. But what I really want is the Belgian waffles. Yeah, I'm using the Belgian waffles on my cheetah too. With my captain. I think the contacts on my captain are getting dirty because sometimes it doesn't want to make a connection. Oh, I also put the batteries in wrong. There we go, works great, lol. Jeremy Fuchs, Ely Pico, thank you. Thank you so much, buddy. If you guys haven't checked it out, Jeremy just got some, Jeremy does like drip tips and other kinds of stuff. What a cool industrious dude. I love watching your Instagram and seeing you send me notes about like, look what I did, dude. Love that. And what else? Oh, Brady says my koi fish painting is in my beard. That's awesome. These are actually great paintings from a really well-established artist that my girlfriend actually just went to college with. It was, she was his, he was his neighbor. He was her neighbor. And um, she bought these, but now he's like some famous San Francisco artist. I forgot his name. I have plugged him before. I just forgot. Oh, Laura, that's you. That's great. That's totally cool. You know that, uh, by the way, if you go up to the to the your name setting and click and choose change nickname, it'll just work on that server. And if you want, you can change your nickname to whatever you like. Look, Laura, or keep Sandman. Keep it. It's good. I'm all I'm all about it. It looks like Kristen says uh, the kit for the Squonker looks good for the Capo. The bottle looks unique. I hope they put a 21700 in there. But you can use a 2700, huh? I need one some. 
I'm curious about the squonker on that thing too. You'll, I'm not a huge fan of squonkers. I'm just critical of them at all, is all. Like you can see how I've got my squonker sitting here. God, that thing is just really canceling out, isn't it? Let me try the desk. And uh, I let it sit here and it's leaking. I was just as an experiment. So I'm like, hmm. Sort of one of those things. Maybe I'll change the battery in my light. How about that? How to broadcast on YouTube by Juicy Jones the bad way. Always have two batteries. Lesson number one. Did you guys know that these battery packs are uh, 18650 battery packs too? These are all well-established photographic tools. And uh, yeah, there we go. And I'll just show you the battery. This is a pro battery pack from a camera rig that I have. And I have several of these and they have four 18650s in them. You can see exactly what that is, is a quad 18650 battery pack, like 12,000 ma of stuff. Here we go, now we got some light and stuff, and some shiny, shiny. Okay, back to the Belgian waffles, am I right? Oh, Michaela's Preston is gone at the border. That's her little puppy, the cutest Shih Tzu. Our Shih Tzu is named Sadie. She has two Shih Tzus, Preston and Neva, which I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Maybe. Oh, Laura, that's... Oh, I see. So, <laughs> I see. So I'm just reading chat, and Laura Asunsao, Asunsao, that's his wife's account, that's Tony. So it's, okay, so I get it. <laughs> I wasn't aware you were sharing there. Thank you. That's funny. So I'm sorry if I misname you. You know who you are, buddy. You guys are great. I want to thank everybody who tuned in. Todd is here. And Michaela, of course. And Tony. And thank you, Laura, for letting you use her account. That's awesome. That's totally cool. It's going to be a nice day today. We're going to a cool show. It's uh, We're going to Courtney Barnett later on. And um, Kurt Vile. It's going to be really awesome. I know a lot of you love music out there. Uh, Brady's never had any problem with any leaking on his squonker, which is great. Awesome. Uh, and, or other than sometimes not tightening it or whatever. Yeah. And you know, that's a really inexpensive little eight cigar squonker that I've got. So it's not at all certain that it doesn't have a 510 that's too loose or, or what? I'm not sure. Your battery charger says it doesn't charge 2,700. Hmm. Michaela, maybe uh, get on Discord and let us know which one that is, and we can see if... Uh, I know that both of mine do, even though they never... on their When I bought them, they, they weren't rated for it, but they do actually fit 2700s. I have to be careful with one of them, just because the wraps can... It, it's a little bit tough on the wraps, but it goes in there fine. Uh, but they both charge at 2 amps as well, so that's nice. Um, but if you if you just post a link real quick in Discord later on, maybe in the next day or two, we'll take a look and see. If maybe, if maybe they do actually support it, maybe one of us owns it, we can try it for you. Or have you tried? Like, uh, oh wait, I forgot, Michaela, you, you own a captain and have 2700s, don't you? So you probably, oh. Did you ever get the Anakin Scion? Just curious, very curious. I should do a quick time check to see how much time We've used, I hope you guys are all comfortable, Amy Light, Juicy Jones. This is Juicy Jones HQ, and it's Vape AM. On Saturday morning, we just reviewed all of the Van Gogh Vapes International Delights new delicious labels. Same stuff, one reform, I'm sorry, same stuff, one reformulation. Uh, oh, we're about 38 minutes in, so I'm going to go in just a few minutes. Um, let's see here. Let's see, she has a Luke Blue 4 E Fest. Uh, Michaela, mine fits them fine. Mine didn't have it on there either, but I have a Luke V, I have a Luke Blue V6. Same thing, but larger. And it fits them just fine, girl. Have you tried it? Did you, did, were you, were you just reluctant to try it or did you actually try it? I'm just curious, because mine fits them really just fine. I, threw, I mean, especially the two amp lane. Um, but mine's lost a couple. Like my 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 E Fest 
Luke V Blue Six only has four lanes now and only one, you know, the left four lanes, the two amp and then three one amps. Which is weird. I don't know why. It's like a year and a half old. Michaela doesn't have the captain. Hey, Michaela, um, you love the onboard charging on the Oceanus, though, don't you? It's two amps. That thing is crazy fast. Like, it's the one mod I, that I can take to work or whatever and just plug in because it will charge. <laughs> that will be charged. Amazing to me. Um, we got to go here in a few minutes. I got to do a few things around the house. I'm going to turn on Instagram live while I just drink coffee and get ready to do our day here. I want to thank everybody, Van Gogh Vapes, iJoy, everybody who tunes in live. I love all you guys. Join us on Discord. I'm on Instagram at Juicy Jones Forge Clash. Juicy Jones HQ. There it is. And we're on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Juicy Jones HQ and facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Juicy Jones. And I love all y'all. Hope you're having a great day. Try Van Gogh Vapes. Use the code Juicy Jones HQ there. Don't forget their Canadian dollars and translate the money. And have a great weekend. We'll see you guys. Thank you.